okay? Instead, we're going to drop something like bad taste on you. I mean, this is a good 10 wins, two losses on guest 31050887890 is pretty serious, too. You're going lovely bones. I'm going brain dead. How much of the stream you watched today? Oh, you're right, Jay. Walter Matthau is in Dennis the Menace. <laughs> oh, man. You need to use the Fanatic for a Travolta kill shot? Bro, we've been over this a thousand times. The Fanatic has Devin Sawa in it. Devin Sawa connects to Slackers, which connects to Jason Schwartzman, which connects to everything. It's the secret to everything. Sorry. That was unbecoming of me. Opponent has left the battle. They do not know who I am. <laughs> and that's funny. <laughs> they were logging on for a, just a, a nice spirited game. And then they said, fuck this guy. Okay, we go uh, bad taste. That's right. So true. In Night City, you can become... From Gotti, you can connect to the cat in the hat. I did not know that, to be honest with you. What sorry son of a bitch has Gotti and the cat in the hat in their filmography? You skip me on that one? Easy, bro. Black sheep. This is a problem. This is my, I, you've accepted my gambit, essentially. Where are you taking this guy? This bro's in Auckland right now. It's the Auckland gambit. We go again. I swear, this isn't even a, a trick, bro. Well, I guess it kind of is a trick. <laughs> you have to know what I think about it. I was like, all, there's, it's easy to get out. Just don't play a Peter Jackson movie second. And I'm like, okay, you just got to know an actor from fucking Bad Taste 1987, which uh, 15,000 people on earth have seen. Okay, you're going Black Panther, Wakanda forever. I'm going... Um, 42. I appreciate your Fermi estimates. I feel like you have a good sense of numbers. I'll never forget that time in Cine to Nerdle. I correctly guessed. Hang on, I forgot what I'm looking for here. You know what? I'll just say Black Panther. I think it's kind of hard to get out of. Unless you ban, I thought you banned Martin Freeman. I correctly estimated how many Canadian men were like enlisted in the First World War. I'm just thinking. Um, take me to nope. And then like in the live stream fails comments, someone was like, I don't understand how he does this. And then the second comment was like, it's easy. He just looked it up. Me before the stream, this will be funny. How many Canadian servicemen lost their lives in the First World War? Just in case that comes in handy later. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking about how we go through, because I don't want you to have burning available. So I want to get you out of here. So I'm going to take you to Thor Ragnarok. I like to be the first ex on Steven Yeun. Creed 2 is kind of interesting because there's a couple cursed paths here. Tessa Thompson's been used three times. Oh, Michael B. Jordan hadn't, but you can't use Black Panther. You can't use Black Panther anymore. Wood Harris, 
oh, they got out of it. Rocky four. Okay, well, we're going to Stallone you in, um, you still got to skip. You still got to skip. I'm going to try it. I don't know anybody else who's in this, but I'm betting on myself that I can use a cast list to get out of this if they can't. They skip me. I cast you. I have bet wrong. The Expendables 3. The Expendables. Um, I can't even use those because Sylvester Stallone's in that. Gosford Park. Nashville. Avengers. Um, movie 43. Babylon. Good game, good game. We go again. I need, I needed a kill shot that I could also get out of. Like I, there was literally nobody else in over the top. Apparently, I'm gonna lose you in um, the cable guy. Robert Legia. Who the heck is Robert Legia? Oh, There's people saying it's a gimme. If you know it, it's everything's a gimme if you know it, bro. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Many ways out of this. I'm gonna say the majestic. I'm gonna I'm gonna invite your Jim Carrey kill shot. I didn't know he's in the cable guy. But not only is he in the cable guy, he directed the cable guy. Oh, you know it because of a Family Guy reference, of course. Bro, you can't strand me a man on the moon. First off, it's got Danny DeVito in it. Secondly, it's directed by Milos Forman. Amadeus, one of the most kino movies of all time. Okay, I understand where you're going with this. Well, let's go to the menu because the menu allows us to get close to the Playmobil movie. By the way, REM poster. Man, you, you just had your moment. Man on the moon. X-Men Days of Future Past. Yep. That's exactly how I saw that going down. Harry Stranjovsky. You skip me? <laughs> oh, baby. Welcome to Weird, the Weird Al movie. Only 600 people in this one. True, but this, I don't, this is not the kill shot. I know you're referencing the earlier, but... Yeah, then we go guns akimbo, and we see what the fuck you know about that. Maybe not too much. We try to bait you on the first one. We want you to, oh, I know a second Daniel Radcliffe movie, and then all of a sudden your ass is in guns akimbo. Like, what do I do with my hands? No documentary unless it's Weird Al. That one is not, um, who's going to tell him? Uh, I don't know anything else that Samara Weaving is in. I don't know anything Adam Brody is in. Andy McDowell is in Groundhog Day. I have, Ready or Not's pretty good. I like that movie. I've maintained my skip. That's all I could ask for. Stripes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always play Broken Flowers so that we don't get Broken Flowers. And then we invite you to a Bill Murray kill shot. Anything obscure enough to kill me on Bill Murray is going to kill you when I skip it back to you. In my opinion. They're looking for Scrooged. That's actually a great answer because I don't know anybody. I don't know who's in Scrooged. I know it has... Uh, Put a little love in your heart by Al Green and Annie Lennox in it. Okay? Well, it's very simple. I don't know who, who else is in it, so I skip you. Now, cast lifeline being used is great. 15-second lifeline 
I would say like at least 50% of the time is completely useless. So we're kind of going band for band here. If they, if they have a way out. They may not have a way out. It is, that's like an achievement unlocked. When you kill them with their own guess. Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. I don't know who else is in this. Let's just throw out Avengers Endgame, bro. None? Okay, Greenberg me? That's amazing. That's like one of those facts that's like, um, did you know we live closer to the pyramids than Cleopatra did? Or we live closer to Cleopatra than Cleopatra lived to the building of the pyramids, I should say. You think I ain't seen the Myerowitz stories new and selected? Because I have seen the Myerowitz stories new and selected. Uh, and I'll follow up with a little hustle starring Adam Sandler. I watched that shit when I was building my final project for my Angular class, just so you know. Adam Sandler, Kill Shop. You know shit about Hubie Halloween, bro? And what am I going to do if you skip me? I know exactly where I'm going if you skip me. This shit has Leslie Mann in it. We take it straight back to the cable guy. Oh, it doesn't have Leslie Mann. It has Julie Bowen in it, who is the lady from Happy Gilmore, now that I think about it. Where am I going to be going? Julie Bowen? What else is Julie Bowen in, bro? She's in Happy Gilmore. I'm comfortable doing that and then seeing where, where the mood strikes us. Because you can't say an Adam Sandler movie. I, I don't know, man. Modern Family, the movie. Carl Weathers is in Happy Gilmore. That makes sense. That's a good one. I'm going to hit you with a... Uh, how about a pumping iron? Let's see how you feel about that. Then you say anything. Not say anything, which has no connection. That's John Cusack. But you say anything with Arnold in it, and then I say collateral damage, which nobody saw. Kindergarten cop. We go collateral damage. This is a lifeline burner. Someone's going to have to... I, I would have to do the same. I would have to use my cast in order to see who the bad guy is or the love interest in collateral damage. John Leguizamo's in it. Now, that I did not know. We're going to go iRobot via Bridget Moynihan. Now, I'm very wary about getting lost in the Alan Tudyk universe as someone who is a nerd, but not as big of a nerd as many other people who play this game. They're not going to go there. They're going King Richard instead. Okay, that's a, that's a tight one. That's a tight one, King Richard. That's tight. I'm going to hope that you... Um, we're going to say After Earth, and I want you to abandon me on Gemini Man, in which case we take the Ang Lee pocket door and we escape into a new dimension. Seven pounds. It's Rosario Dawson, bro. We hit you with the Clerks 2. I was going to say three, but maybe they don't know there's a Clerks 3. <laughs> clerks 1. Okay, now I feel like playing the even number... X on a clerk is very dangerous. Wait a minute. No, I'm the one in danger. They hit me with a tusk. Bro, I can get out of that. Justin Long? I can get out of that as the day is long. I'll hit you with a fucking live free or die hard, bro. That's not even... Kevin Smith is in that? I'll hit you with a waiting. 2005, Justin Long. <laughs> He's a hacker in Die Hard 4. I forgot about that. Barb oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> Bill Skarsgård okay I can get out of that that's why God gave us lifelines we hit you with an it he plays Pennywise oh my god Joker hold we hold I got ways out of this we both got to skip I'd say we're basically equal on lifelines the time lifeline is just to it's kind of like a miracle. Like the time lifeline is like, you know, signing Joshua Dobbs and expecting him to like uh, carry you. Can I just, can I just drop like a, it, 
um, chapter two on you just to annoy you because you clearly don't know anything about it. Oh, but this is going to unveil the entire cast. <laughs> well, honestly, you may not know who any of those people are. I know who Stephen King is. It's kind of a blind spot for me, unfortunately. Yeah, I was worried about that. Um, that's pretty simple. We'll go Beast. I wanted to get out of the Stephen King universe. It's not my area of expertise. No Stephen King 3X? I'm worried if I take it back to Carrie, he's going to drop like some sissy SpaceX movie that came out in 1907. We'll hold on that one. Good games, good games. Perhaps we go again, but not today. Hobbit, Battle of the Five Armies. You got it. No, 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 we don't start with that. We start with bad taste, bad taste. Bro couldn't name an Idris Elba movie. He's only been in, I don't know, like 20 or 30 movies that are pretty commonly known. opponent has left the battle okay he's a tv show guy bro he's in pacific rim he's in hobbs and shaw he's in beasts of no nation he's in the movies named after his tv show luther robin williams come inside my mind he is in the thor movies bro's really in aladdin and aladdin and the king of thieves huh People brought their A game today. Like, we still did pretty good. But um, definitely the level of competition has stepped up a little bit. One hour photo is so good. Wonder Woman, because I'm Connie Nielsen. Connie Nielsen. I saw a one hour photo in theaters. I enjoyed it. I'm old. I mean, there's 25 different ways out of this, but we got to go death on the Nile. Keep your options open. You did? Yep. And then I wrote uh, in computer class in ninth grade. We had an assignment to write a movie review in Microsoft Word. Like, that's how antiquated our technology was back then. I wrote my movie review on one hour photo. Is a weird kind of assignment for computer class. Don't get me wrong. You skip me on... Bro, you think I don't know shit about Wonder Woman 1984? Welcome to Barb and Star. Go to Vista Del Mar. And you can't take Kristen Wiig out, bro. That's a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, quick. What's your second favorite A.V. Rothman movie? You allowed the transposition. I didn't force you into that line. Zoolander. I'm like, I gotta take you back to Kristen Wiig, bro. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Now, we both got everything surrounding this band. So, <laughs> it's up to you where you want to go, brother. Ratatouille, you're going Patton Oswalt mode? I would love to join you in the Patton Oswalt universe, my friend. Nobody ever wants to have a little tete-a-tete -tete about Patton. And here we are. Charlize Theron, Diablo Cody, the guy, the guy who she's in love with, but he's married to somebody else. Comic Blonde, Charlize Theron, easy mode. 
Um, I'm gonna hit you with um, I'm gonna hit you with the devil's advocate. I'm gonna invite you to give me a third Charlize. Uh, I invite you to pivot to Keanu, Al Pacino, whatever you choose. We're coming out of this. I mean, we're getting out of Mad Max Fury Road. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll go to the menu because that, that puts us adjacent to the Playmobil movie. Playmobil the movie. Okay, it was worth a shot. Grand Budapest Hotel. How about Royal Tenenbaums? Couple of connections there. Ooh, third X Owen Wilson, huh? I know where I'm going. You hit me with a bottle rocket, I'm dropping the family stone on you. Brother? You don't want the broken flowers, Tech. I didn't know Tilda Swinton's in this. That's such a, it's a gimme. <laughs> now I know, though. Now I don't have to be scared about uh, broken flowers. The killer. I didn't know Tilda Swinton was in that. Um, how about um, uh, 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 the only lovers, only lovers left alive? It's true. Egg Love Cinema. Now I got to figure out to, uh, they're going to, they're going to skip. I'm going to have to cast. I feel like Tilda Swinton's brother in that movie is played by an actor I will know the name of. That's, that's my fuzzy memory having watched this. Was it Tom Hiddleston? There, I guess it turns out I do know him. Um, now from the Avengers, Winter's Bone. No links were found in this movie. How about Tag? <laughs> Winter, what's the other one with Jeremy Renner and, uh, and, uh, and, and Jennifer Lawrence? Can't remember. It's the problem with knowing the movies but having never seen them. You wanna get stuck in the Jeremy Renner-verse, brother? How about Born? As one, I knew it was one of the Bourne movies. Now, I know I, I could burn a cast lifeline on this, no problem. My dad made me watch this when I was home for Christmas in 2012. Okay, it has Ed Norton in it. From Ed Norton, um, Knives Out. We're going to take you to Blade Runner 2049 via the Dave Batista Tunnel. Christmas be like Jason Christ, it's Jesus born. Honestly, I'm going to give you a plus two for that. Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave Batista. I don't know shit else that you're in, bro. So I'm going to just pivot. I'm going to take you to the Tomorrow War. We'll leave that Dave Batista. Oh, Chris Pratt was banned by my opponent. Take you to Jumanji, the next level. By a Karen Gillan. They didn't expect that. They didn't expect it. We keep the lifelines. Karen Gillan. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That's not good enough. <laughs> I, think, I think they're going to find a way out, to be honest with you. You're right, I should have gone Stuber. So true. I forgot about Stuber. Kumail Nanjiani plays an Uber driver. They, sk they skip me on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Really? What if we just dropped like a, like a Sicario on you? Okay, Benicio's not in that one. How about Slither? I don't know. I, I also got frozen. So I was like, I get it. I should stop talking smack. I got frozen too. <laughs> frozen 2 may or may not work there. So there you go, movie 43. If I'm going to James Gunn strand you. Did he do eight-legged freaks? He did not. Okay. In that... Dude, give me super 2010. James Gunn you. Not household names below James Gunn. You'll be required to know the movie. I got four lifelines. I'm sorry. It's a war of attrition, and I think that you have attrited. 
You found a way out via Steve Gaynor. Mysterious skin. You think I don't know shit about Joseph Gordon-Levitt, bro? Give me Don John. Nice try. 0 0.1. Perhaps a bit less sodium chloride next time, mother. Snowden, 2016. Joseph Gordon-Levitt again. Okay. Joseph Gordon-Levitt again. Well. Um, give me Looper. Give me, uh, give me Brick. Let's see how you feel about Brick. Brick's the right play for me out of the options. I'm trying to think of some shit that Lucas Haas has been in. There's the Ryan Johnson is your connection, but we've already played a glass on you. I'm confused. It's not a gimme, but it's not easy. They got out. Spy Kids 2, the island of lost dreams. You know what we take you to? World's greatest dad. Via Dylan Sabara. And now we're back in the Robin Williams universe. Then you play the Polar Express 2004. Okay, I'll be the third X on a Dylan Sabara. I'll play a, a Spy Kids one. What? Yeah, start with a Spy Kids. Let's see where you're going with that one. I know exactly where I would go with this one. Dylan Sabar has already been used three times. You can't just play Spy Kids 3D game over. That's why I played it. There's many ways out of this, though. You'll just, surely you've seen the movie. I mean, you conjured it so quickly. You must have an encyclopedic knowledge of the cast and thus what else they've been in. Sin City would work. Anything Antonio Banderas or Robert Rodriguez have ever done. Um, Alexa Vega did a movie called Sleepover in like 2005, which he tried to break out of the Spy Kids type casting. Seems like you might need a refresh on that one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, I think I, I, I'm going to tell my wife that I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to be ready to send them to you in like five minutes, if that's cool. We just have to coordinate it like a little bit better today because we're... Um, bereft of daycare. And then find one more. You're bereft of hair? I told you that dream in confidence, okay? You're seventh on the leaderboards. You're ahead of Bjork fan. Yo, Chibli started playing. Congratulations, Chibli. Return of the King, 1980, J.R.R. Tolkien. Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> I don't like it, but that's fine. Um, the Hobbit, 1977. And I imagine you're going to drop a... Oh, John Huston. I, I'm, mm, I'm going to have to search my brain, but there must be a connection here with John Huston. Well, it's Angelica Huston's dad, but what the frick else was he, did he ever do? 2002? You brought me back to 2002? Okay, get, you really think that's... You're done, Potato Man. Goodbye. Get Hidalgoed. That's the strategy you're going to drop on me? I bet they clicked on the wrong Lord of the Rings, and now they're like, oh, God, I'm, I'm out. Eastern Promises, bro. We let him out. Containment breach, containment breach. <laughs> Never mind, they know what they're doing. They hit me with the, the dang video drum. I'll hit you with a crash, 2005. No, I'm going to hit you with a um, infinity pool. No, that's a different Cronenberg. I'm going to hit you with a crash, 1996. Wrong Cronenberg. But it's tough because I could have gotten my way out of Crash. There are David Cronenberg movies I would have a hard time getting out of. But this is why God gave us skips. I'm going to know somebody in Scanners. I'm not going to know anybody in, in Scanners. My, I do know somebody in Scanners. Michael Ironside. Take me to Starship Troopers. Okay. One cast lifeline to get out. I'm feeling okay. Canadian spotted. Showgirls, okay? 
I definitely hate this. Um, I'm going to hit you with a RoboCop so you don't hit me with a RoboCop. Because I can't think of anything else that Kurtwood Smith is in. It's hitting a lot of my blind spots right now. Potato Man 80. They use their own cast lifeline. They skip me. Now I'm like, I got to use my cast lifeline. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, bro. Ray Wise. Twin Peaks. Twin Beaks. Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. I, for the record, I still don't want to be here. You're right. RoboCop 2 would have been a good guess. So now I'm in the damn David Lynch universe. Um... Give me like Lost Highway. And then you play a David Lynch movie I can get out of. I got to skip. Okay, so we, we're, not, we got, we're not on Lethal yet. Dune. Okay. Um, Jack Nance. Honestly, I'm like, I know it has Kyle MacLachlan in it, but I can't think of a Kyle MacLachlan movie. So I'll offer you the draw and see how you respond. Jack Nance is like an old guy who's been in stuff, too. Kyle MacLachlan. I can't think of stuff or something. That's, Sting's in it. No, Sting is in the elevator of Only Murders in the Building, which is not a movie. That's tough. I don't know. Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Oh, he can't draw because he didn't have a skip. He killed himself. Pog. <laughs> oh. 